Hi there, Doug Stimon with IT Creations with another Dell EMC server, but this time it's a GPU server. The 4U Dell EMC DSS 8440. This is a shared accelerated platform ideal for machine learning training and inference applications. It can support up to 10 NVIDIA double wide GPU cards or up to 16 single wide GPUs for a multi-tenant, multi-workload environment. Of course, you don't have to share the system with anyone and it could be your own exceptionally high performance computing environment. We won't judge. Let's take a look. With all those GPU servers from other manufacturers like Supermicro, Gigabyte, and Tyon we've been reviewing, I was beginning to wonder if Dell still made them. I'm kidding! Of course they do! This is Dell's first system at 4U that supports up to 10 NVIDIA V100 GPUs, supported by dual Intel Xeon scalable processors. It's designed for machine learning and training and inference, all needed to support that next predictive analytics system that will provide the algorithms for machine learning. Everybody has to start somewhere, even machines. They too have to train for a while before they can put their predictive inference to work based on that training. The inference can't happen without the training. There's more to that, but we're really just looking at the hardware. Oh look, shiny. With a high-speed I.O. connection plus a large memory footprint coupled with NVIDIA Tesla or Quadro RTX GPUs, this system is also great for modeling and simulation. As with all of those GPU servers, the key is placing them with enough airflow to ensure predictable performance not impacted by thermal constraints. In other words, we want to squeeze every drop of performance out of those GPUs while ensuring they don't fail from heat exhaustion. To do that, Dell placed a grid of 12 60 mm cooling fans right at the front of the system and positioned the GPUs just behind those fans for optimal cooling. Can't argue with that. Storage is in the very back with 10 2.5 inch drive bays and the motherboard CPUs and memory occupy the center of the chassis more or less. But let's take a look at the front in a little more detail. Before we do that, are you interested in one of these Dell EMC DSS 8440 GPU servers? If you are, for a limited time, you can save up to $500 off the purchase price of a system listed on our site at $5,000 or more. Just click that link to see pricing, and when you're ready to make a purchase, just mention this video. We also have all the parts to custom configure to your specifications. There's really not much to see there. Some little handles if you need to pull the system out of the enclosure, and the perforated metal panel takes up the whole front of the system, but you can see the 12 fans. If you scaled this up, it might look like a bank of Marshall stacks from a hairband concert in the 80s. Hearing loss was a problem, but good times. On the right is a little control panel including the power on button with power indicator LED, a system health indicator LED, and a system identification button. That's pretty much it. Now the rear of the system is where it gets interesting. With no storage up front, storage is positioned in back on the right in a bank of 10 storage bays, six of which are flexible NVMe or SATA, plus two SATA and two dedicated NVMe natively. If you require SAS drives, you will need a discrete controller. Above, below, and to the right of the drive cage are vents for airflow. Below that are four 2400 watt PSUs delivering two plus two redundancy. Above that in the middle are two RJ45 ports and two small form factor pluggable plus ports and next to that, the PCI slots that can be used to support significant I.O. Cracking the lid on this server, you can see the GPUs linked along the front of the system, just like the other Dell GPU server, the C4140. But that one is 1U and supports four GPUs. I mean, you could stack four of those C4140s together for up to 16 GPUs in a 4U space, but you would also need more CPUs and memory adding to the cost, but definitely an alternative route for scalabilities. In addition to up to 10 full-width V100 or T100 16 or 32 gigabyte GPUs or Quadro RTX GPUs, you could also install up to 16 Tesla T4 GPUs for a super fast distributed environment. If using the T4 GPUs, some of them will be housed in the butterfly module, which is that hulking metal bracket at the rear, which supports risers one and two. For memory intensive applications, the RTX 6000 or 8000 are a great choice, while the V100 and T100 GPUs are better suited for double precision workloads. GraphCore's C2 IPU card is designed specifically to address the next generation of machine learning, both in training and inference. IPU means intelligent processing unit, and these GraphCore cards feature not one, but two IPUs, and offer up to 200 teraflops of parallel processing capability and over 2416 individual processing cores. They're compatible with both Gen 3 and Gen 4 PCI Express and consume up to 315 watts each with passive cooling. I placed a white paper below if you want more information. You can install up to eight cards networked together using IPU link high bandwidth interconnect cables which connect on top of the cards for up to 1.6 petaflops of compute power. I think we're all waiting for the IPU on this one. 
Of course, the same guys who started this company sold their last chip to NVIDIA, so don't hold your breath. These graph core GPUs may only be compatible with Intel's next generation Ice Lake processors, which will feature more cores and faster memory. There's still not much information on this option, but with all these lake-based code names, you would think Intel was based in Minnesota or something. Just behind those GPUs are the CPUs and the associated memory module slots, which reside on a completely different board from the GPU PCI switchboard. That switchboard also has four Plex switches to expand the PCI lanes. The system is compatible with both first and second generation Intel Xeon scalable processors, with second generation processors offering support for data-centric persistent memory modules, like Intel Optane. However, I will mention that there is no mention of actual support for those data-centric persistent memory modules. At least not yet. Our system came with two second generation Intel Xeon scalable 6248 gold processors with 20 cores each, 192 gigabytes of memory in 12 slots, plus four NVIDIA Tesla V116 gigabyte GPUs. So still a lot of room for expansion. Processors supporting up to 24 cores each can be installed and provide up to 12 memory module sockets each with two DIMMs per memory channel. With both processors installed, there are 24 active memory module slots and the potential for up to 768 gigabytes of memory using 32 gigabyte memory modules in all slots. Single and dual rank registered DIMM modules or RDIMMs are supported. And since this is a GPU server, airflow is important. So if you're not populating all memory module slots, DIMM blanks are required to maintain internal temperatures. Memory speeds of up to 2933 megahertz are supported. iDRAC 9.0 with lifecycle controller is used on all new Dell PowerEdge servers for remote and at chassis management of the system. It's also compatible with Redfish API open systems management, making it easy to integrate with a wide range of data center management options. And then there's also NVIDIA's graphics cloud registry, providing other software stacks if you will be using NVIDIA cards. Not to mention GraphCore's Poplar software stack for both training and inference if you will be using GraphCore's IPU. Along with the integrated S140 storage controller, the DSS8440 also supports the Perk H730 Plus. You will need a Perk H730P if you want to install SAS drives or if you just need a little more control over your SATA drives. This is an outstanding controller, even though it has been superseded by the H740. Not sure why they didn't go with that, but whatever. It's a great option for streaming digital media and database applications for RAID and offers two gigabytes of non-volatile cache memory. The H730P is also a great choice for hybrid storage and supports the most popular RAID levels. Non-RAID through pass-through is also an option. It's also easily managed using Dell's proprietary integrated Dell Remote Access Controller with Lifecycle Controller. According to Dell, the EMC DSS8440 delivers up to 25% more accelerators, plus 10% more tensor flops in a single 4U chassis, compared to earlier versions. This is a mid-tier system that is certified to work with NVIDIA's Graphics Cloud NGC registry, where you can find predefined and pre-tested machine learning software stacks for immediate download, making it easy to rapidly deploy. We do hope you enjoyed our short hardware review of the Dell EMC DSS8440, and if you're looking for one of these babies, look no further than IT Creations. IT Creations has the parts and components on hand, including those NVIDIA Tesla V100, Quadro RTX, or T4 accelerators to outfit your system and send it out for next day delivery. We also have a stellar reputation, and I personally guarantee the experience will make you reconsider your go-to hardware company. If you have any questions on this or any other platform, just post them in the comments section below. Hit that subscribe button too, and give us a like, if we're worthy. Till next time, I'm Doug Stewart with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.